Hey everyone, welcome to another Swift Race Nas video. This is the Team Draft Thursday race. Um, this is a race that I do regularly on Thursdays, and I typically try to do some breakaways with Eric from Swift Insider, um, Mikal from um, Team Dirt, and Derek from Team Draft. This is a decently sized race. Um, 31 signed up. At the moment, there were, um, I think, 27 in the lead group. And there were some pretty strong riders, Mike, Abraham, and a few other notable names in the race. We had an attack planned for the second to last lap, the penultimate lap, and we were planning to attack on the bricks. Um, overall, the race had been pretty mellow, as you can see based off my power graph. And um, I did do some, um, we did do some surges on the climbs just to follow the other attacks that other riders were putting in. Other than that, the race was pretty mellow, and we mostly just let other riders burn their energy, and we let them tire themselves out. The race was on um, 12 laps of the Downtown Dolphin, with a total of 14.3 miles, I believe. Um, and so far, I felt like I was pretty fatigued in this race, since I had been racing um, all the day, every day before that, um, this entire week. So my legs are pretty dead and they felt pretty weak, but I was still going to give it my all in the attack and see if we could pull something off. Heading towards the um, brick climb, there's one rider off the front, but the group doesn't really chase because um, we're all waiting for someone else to make a move. Someone that uh, we know will definitely stay away, that will follow the move, but no one was really making any moves, so it was a pretty chill race. And I try to move up in the group here so I have better positioning before we hit the bricks. So you're gonna see me slowly um, drift towards the front of the group because I'm just doing a bit more power than the rest of the group. And then right as we make this left turn, I'm going to start to bring up my power a bit. And then there's a final left turn and then right turn before we hit the climb. So around this corner, you can see that um, Eric, Tom, um, Derek, and I, we're all, and Mikal, we're all towards the front of the group ready to put in a big attack, but everyone else had the same exact idea, and we ended up um, we ended up pretty much causing a huge breakaway of around 10 riders, but it wasn't much of a breakaway because we were eventually caught, and there was never really a good separation between the group. You can see here that Mikhail from Dirt is on the front. He's still sprinting, putting in massive power, helping us get a bigger gap. We've got a gap around two seconds, but the gap is definitely closing. You can see here on the mini map, the group is pretty spread out, but this is it's not enough to get us a real gap going for the breakaway. We also have a bunch of other riders who are in the uh, breakaway with us. We've got JM, we've got A. Molias, and a bunch of other riders who were not originally supposed to be in the breakaway. Coming here, we were still trying to um, split the group because even if we um, didn't do a successful breakaway, we would still have to split the group and tired out the other riders a ton. So right here, I go to uh, I go ahead for a pull so that I could do some more work for this breakaway, see if I could maybe split the group a bit more. I come to the front for around five seconds before I'm absolutely dead and I end up easing off. At this point, we've called the breakaway off and we're all easing off now. Just trying to save every last bit of energy that we still have for the finishing sprint because there still are some very strong sprinters who still have plenty of energy to use in the finishing sprint. So we knew that we probably weren't going to win the race, but it's still worth a shot and we're going to give it everything we have left in the finishing sprint. My heart rate is still pretty elevated, around 206 right now. It's slowly going down, but my goal is to have it around 190 before I hit the finishing sprint, which is definitely not going to happen in this race. I was expecting another strong attack on the brick climbs, so I was um, pretty prepared for that. I tried to move towards the front of the group so that I could be ready for all the attacks that were to come. I was uh, watching out for Mike Abraham because he's another very strong rider, and he is the number one ranked rider in this race. But uh, right here you see JM going to the front, a rider that I did a breakaway with just a few days ago. That video will be releasing soon. Um, 
And right now you can see that Mike is just surging, he's flying through the group, and this is when I start sprinting. But then immediately after the climb, I try to ease off my power a bit so that I can rest and recover for the finishing sprint. Something that also doesn't benefit me is that there are no power-ups in this race, so it all comes down to your power and your tactics. Um, the power is something that I don't really have, so I needed a really strong sprint in order to pull off a podium in this race, which was the best I was expecting. Right here, um, you're going to see one rider start a sprint early, and then I'm going to see that I need to start my sprint now because I see um, Lodval just fly right by and that's when I start sprinting. But I sprinted, I left it a little bit too late and I was a little bit too far back in the group and I didn't have the ideal power that I would have liked for a finishing sprint without power-ups. So I ended up coming in eighth with Eric just behind me. Derek, I think, came in fourth. And then um, Tom came in sixth, I believe. And then 11th was Mikal. Overall, our team did pretty good. We were really close to everyone getting the top 10, which is extremely good considering that we all put an attack and we all um, risked our power and our fresh legs for a fun attack. Overall, it was a very fun race and I look forward to doing something like this again next week. So watch out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. See you all next time.